going nowhere. No, that's right. <laughs> they can't get rid of me. I, I work too hard. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> we think alike. <laughs> Right, right. I understand completely because I, I do this every day, you know, for the love of it. And you know, it just don't get no better, you know. It's, right. It's I mean, just... you know, when you look at you look at the many people that are, it's funny, I'm, I'm very much a night baby. And I'm sure it's like, you know, my occupational hazard because I'm in clubs and working and gigging until 2 in the morning or whatever. Um, in New York, whenever I am home. Uh, and I think I might hang up for, you know, for a second because I have to wind down. And I can be coming home while I'm watching people, like, get ready and going to work. And I think, wow, thank you, God. You know what I mean? Right. You know, you know, now the hardest part of that is sometimes you end up burning the candle on both ends because I do have a family. And school starts going. I have a 10-year-old going to fifth grade. And, you know, you got to get to school. And, you know, I'm that parent, too, the PTA parent of the... You know, and my son's saying, so, you know, I got to be there for all the events and in between traveling on the road. So it's a balancing act. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, you, you got to do this because you love it. Because right. otherwise, it's crazy. Yep. So, so and, let, and let's... I do a little bit of that anyway. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, last question before we get out of here. Um, do you have any words of inspiration to, you know, upcoming songwriters, singers, actors, you know, from your point of view, like, you know, any tips or anything to help them out? Um, first, make sure that you keep in mind that it is a business, whether it is in the acting or the music or the writing, with the publishing, like, baby, get your publicist. And get, you know what I mean? Because that's, that's that residual money. Go on and get the residual money. Right. Some, some artists want to be... You know, there's a question that a friend posed to me, and I love it, and I and I use it whenever I do my Black Velvet Mondays. First of all, I mantra on that thing is trust your gift. Like I always say, God gave everybody their own thing. And that doesn't even have to be just music or whatever. God gave everybody their gift, and you have to trust that. When you speak musically, like a lot of the young babies want to be Beyonce, and and I love her. That that even is fierce. But I say, but she's got that market covered. The Beyonce market is covered. Be whoever you are and be true to that. That way, whenever you're recording or when you're being or whatever, and you're on stage, you, you're not you're not like begrudgingly doing somebody else's music, and it doesn't speak to who you really are as a person. I believe that instead of trying to follow a trend, be yourself. Be you. I feel like when you're being true to yourself and what your gift is, that that can't be denied, and you may not see everybody at all times, but somebody's going to get it, and you'll be able to live with yourself and do what you do without it feeling like work, but make sure you come, like, put with that the fact that it is a business and have somebody, if it is not you, because a lot of creative people are not business heads, um, have somebody that can help you with the business of it, because, uh, you know, I look at uh, past artists um, back in the day, and then hear about them later on and they're dealing with IRS and, you know, and they're broke and they don't have money and, you know, and all the music that is still being played by artists who are gone now, but they nor their families have been able to recoup any of that. It's a business, so be, you know, be aware that it's a business and don't just go for any okie doke you know. That was also an issue with me with the record labels, like sometimes the people are making a decision. If, you know, if it didn't work, they go, oh, oh well, and then they take a vacation day, which is you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So be who you are and trust that. And it's not always going to be easy, and you better love what you're doing because you will have some times where you are not sure how you're going to get your next loaf of bread, maybe. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it can be that. But, you know, just when you know who you are as a human being, then you better know who you are as an artist, and then you can work along as well. Right. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your kind <laughs> words of inspiration to the you know the, the next generation and upcoming. Um, I thank you for this interview. I wanted, I wanted to go back to real music. Okay. Like, okay. okay let's go back. I, I heard a story once. This promoter I was going to play this years ago. Going to play. 
Okay, and he is also promoting a Prince concert. And oh. they said Prince asked if there were any musicians in the house, and somebody said, yeah, you know, raised their hands, and they said, what do you play? And he said, a sampler. And um, that was back when samples were first starting. Mm -hmm. And so there is an art to that as well. Um, I want to get back to the days where people are singing songs and have stories, and they're making music from their heart, and, you know, and there's a way to, to tie both of those in together with, like, the, the, the dope samples and stuff. But, but try to be who you are and be creative and, 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 and do something that you'll be proud of at the end of the day. Right. Do something that you're proud of. I like that. And yes. if you grow up, you have kids, and you'd be like, oh, well, okay, I got it. You know, you're supposed to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's not cool. So, yeah. Very good, very good. Thank you. Uh, this th That wraps up this interview for uh, Mr. West Blog Time. And I, I thank you again. Mrs. Riley, for, you know, for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you for, and now when, this will be on, what is it, is it an internet? Yes, th this will be on um, www.bwestmusic.blogspot.com. Um, I just Facebooked you, and um, I'll send you the link um, once it's up. It'll also be on YouTube as a, uh, as a video, as a video oh, kind of cool. slideshow. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to hook it up for you. I appreciate that. Man. No problem. I it. And now what kind of stuff do you do? Uh, I'm, I'm a rap artist, uh, music producer, film director, and editor. And I just network my butt off. You know, meeting people. I hate. You know, that's the only way. That's how I've gotten as far as I have now. Just networking with people and, you know, shaking hands, you know, so forth. Right. No, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Are you based out of Philly? Yes, I'm. I'm in North Philadelphia. Okay. So I'm. I'm always. You know, I'm always back and forth between Philly and New York. So, you know, so when I come up New York, oh. you know, you know, maybe we could, you know, link up or something, you know. Yeah, and especially if you're coming up, if you get here on a Monday, I'd love for you to check out my black stuff at Monday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'll come up for that. Definitely. Yeah, I think you love it. I'll be here till look. Uh, I think the second week in September, so that's like right around the corner. But um, definitely, you know, when you Facebook me, so when I get in, I'll, I'll definitely hit you back, and, and we'll stay connected. All right. I like that. I like that. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, so, we, you know, we stay connected and, you know, just, just build, you know. And, you know, I, I also want to thank Terrence, you know, when I talk to him again, you know, for this, you know, connecting this bridge. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Definitely do that, and I'm going to do the same thing. I look forward to hearing from you. I'll check your Facebook when I get in. All right. My name is Mr. Westcott, so, you know, you can get familiar with who I am. Robert Westcott is the name, so you can look for me. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate it, man. You're welcome. No problem. So, um, I'll talk to you soon. Okie dokie. All right. I have a good one, man. All right. You too.